Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Lorgan 111, and I am back in this world that you may recall we've seen before to show off my ray casting snowball teleporter armor stand thing. <laughs> so, for those of you who may have not seen the previous video, basically I made a contraption that projects an armor stand in front of the player uh, as kind of like in whatever direction you're looking, uh, but up into the point to where it intersects, it collides with a non air block. Uh, and then it stops there, and you can throw a snowball, and you'll be instantly teleported to the armor stand. And so basically, it's kind of a look teleporter. I look down there on top of the tree, and I can teleport up there immediately. Or I can look back up here and teleport back up here immediately. So it was a pretty cool thing, but it had its flaws. And today I want to talk about those flaws, and then show off a new version where I have fixed those flaws. So let's get to it. So the first thing I want to show off is the accuracy of the armor stand in terms of tracking the cursor and where I'm looking. Uh, as I'm moving around right now, it seems to be doing a pretty good job with wherever the cursor is, is kind of staying in the middle of the armor stand, and the armor stand moves along with it. Uh, but that happens to be working pretty well because I have myself perfectly positioned in the middle of a block at x of minus 5.5, y of 93.5, and z of 29.5. If instead I change to z of 29.99, for example, so that I'm right on the edge of a block, now watch very carefully with where my cursor is relative to the armor stand. My cursor now is always staying to the right of the armor stand, and when I fall like almost a complete block behind, the armor stand goes and catches back up. Uh, and if I move to the left, every time I'm about to clip the left edge of the armor stand, all of a sudden the armor stand will go and jump to the left. And similarly, I'll have kind of the opposite problem if I change to 29.01 so that I'm on the other side. Uh, now, basically, the armor stand is always going to be kind of to the right of my cursor. And so basically, the old approximation algorithm that I'm showing off here was always kind of assuming that you're starting from the center of a block. But the player could be anywhere within a block, and so it ends up being off by a small amount there. That is not such a big deal, but one of the really big deals, one of the really big problems is it's supposed to be the case that when you intersect uh, with something like a wall over here, the armor stand stops in front of the wall, but watch what happens if I put my cursor right here. <laughs> the armor stand just clipped right through this wall. It's a tiny wall that just has kind of like, you know, a corner like this. And the approximation algorithm uh, can just kind of clip right through diagonals. And so it basically is trying to decide, you know, what the ray looks like that's coming out of my eyeballs. And it ended up drawing a ray <laughs> that looks like this <laughs> or something like that approximately. And so it just clipped diagonally right through the wall and didn't even notice that the wall was there. And so that's a big deal because... Yeah, I mean, being off by half a block uh, with the cursor that I was showing against the wall over here, that's kind of a minor thing. But when all of a sudden, like, you're trying to do line of sight and you just decide, oh, I'm just going to see right through the wall here. I mean, could you imagine, for example, like, if zombies and spiders could hit you through the wall when there was a wall over here? Wouldn't that be embarrassing? Like, if you were one of the developers of the game, wouldn't you be embarrassed if the mobs didn't have a line of sight and could just, like, hit you through wall corners? That would be crazy. So we don't want to do that. So we want to do a better job than that. And so what we need to do is come up with an algorithm that's not an approximation algorithm, an algorithm that actually computes line of sight from my eyeballs, effectively does the moral equivalent of drawing a line to wherever I'm looking and finding all of the intersecting Minecraft cubes along the way and testing if all of them are air blocks or not. And so I created a better raycasting program that works kind of like the old one, but has uh, better features and, yeah, kind of a cooler visualization. And so basically, you know, it works the same. It projects an armor stand. You can teleport to it immediately. However, uh, it shows you a couple of things. It shows you a blue block, which is basically the non-air block that you are colliding with, as well as a green cube, which is basically the location that you're going to teleport to uh, with the armor stand. And so basically, you can see down here, it's a little bit hard because it's kind of glowing, but basically the blue block uh, is highlighting the wool block that the armor stand is standing on, whereas the green block is the armor stand's kind of feet location where we'll teleport to. And uh, it's nice because it shows you basically anywhere you're looking, but if there isn't room to teleport the player because there isn't kind of like a too high airspace, um, then it shows up in red. And if you try to teleport there, it won't teleport you there and it won't kind of like suffocate you inside a block. 
Um, but it's really cool because you can just kind of like see as you're moving around, if I just move my cursor a tiny bit down here, the location I would teleport to is inside the same block, but I'm looking at a different collision block that ended up being right before it. And as I go down over here, I can be looking at this collision block. Um, and it's also smart. And so basically, if I'm looking down at this block, it doesn't try to put the feet of the armor stand there because if it did, it would collide. And so instead it puts the head of the armor stand there. And so in general, anytime you're looking up on the ceiling, it still allows you to teleport up into the ceiling by noticing that there would be a collision in the ceiling and putting the head of the armor stand right below it. Um, and it also, it's really precise. And so we don't have the clipping problem anymore. And so if I try, no matter where I look, to try to look you know, diagonally through this wall, it's always gonna find the wall. And you can see that it's always colliding with one side of the wall or the other. So we no longer have that particular problem. And you can thread the needle. So I have kind of a thing with a hole in here. And so I could be up against sides of the hole and try to like jump into the middle of the hole, which I can't because there isn't an airspace above it, but then I can look through the hole and teleport to what's right out there. And so it's really precise. Uh, it works really nicely. Um, and yeah, just does exactly what you would want. Um, it's basically like true ray casting. Uh, it goes to like at least three significant digits or whatever. And so it ought to work pretty perfectly. And so that makes it even possible to maneuver very well, like inside cave systems. I showed this off before in the previous video uh, where it was a little bit too, oops, <laughs> I hit the bat over there, I think. A little bit hard to maneuver uh, inside tight spaces. And now it's much easier to get the armor stand exactly where you want it to go uh, just by looking in the right direction. Uh, hello, zombie. <laughs> and uh, use it to teleport through tight spaces as well. Um, so yeah, it's basically, it's no longer an approximation algorithm. Now it computes exactly what you want to compute. The blue square is always the exact block you're looking at. The green square uh, or red square is kind of the air block right before where it collided. And that's where it would try to teleport you if there's room. Uh, but then it doesn't teleport you if there isn't room uh, because you would be like suffocating your head inside the block above or something like that. And yeah, so... I just wanted to show it off. I think it's really cool. I had to learn some new algorithms and some new math stuff uh, in order to make all this work, um, but it works and it works really well. And I wanted to show it off and I'm finally going to provide a world download. And so you can download this world uh, and check out the functions that make this thing happen. Uh, basically, all you need to do is if you're holding a snowball, uh, this thing will appear. If you're not holding the snowball, it will disappear and yeah, I guess you can ask questions about the functions uh, for those of you who want to look at all the commands uh, in the comments below, and I may or may not try to answer all the questions, but um, yeah, I mean, it took me, <laughs> I spent pretty much a week <laughs> trying to get this all working the way that I liked uh, and finally managed to get it working, but it's, it's non-trivial, so um, I don't know that I'll be able to answer everyone's questions about how it works. But there you go. Um, it's a perfect ray casting thing, and I could imagine using this in some other devices, and you may be able to kind of lift out the ray casting algorithm from this if you want to try to use it in some of your own stuff, if you know what you're doing with command box. So I hope, as always, that you guys are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Minecraft contraptions. Bye-bye.